We got the Duramax LML. So let me hop in on the inside here. And I did switch the theme back to the uh, lighting down so you can make it really yeah. bright. The charcoal right here. Right here. Let's see if it'll connect. OnStar Red. Hello and welcome to OnStar. Your OnStar account is currently inactive. Please push the blue OnStar button again to activate your account. Learn more about OnStar services or speak to an OnStar. OnStar. Connecting to OnStar. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Currently inactive, which means that, in the event of an emergency, we will not be able to assist you. To activate your system or hear more about OnStar services, say activate. To end this call, press the white voice command button. Active 8. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Oh. your activation can I help you? Oh, hey, sorry, I think I got the wrong number here. Um, your OnStar call has ended. <laughs> Go. Now you can see that we do have signal to the OnStar. I hope they don't call me back. Let's see what we can do with that now. And we're going to be tearing into this D-Max today. It's going to be crazy. Let's do it. Off. There we go. Instant start, instant shut off. Gotta love these Duramax, man. They come a long way. All right, guys, what's up? We got the trimming tool set right here. I haven't used it since, actually, since I used this on the Silverado. My luck with this one right here. I'm going to stick it right in here. got that part to get this far you'll now see some bolts here well, i'd imagine it's probably easier for people that don't have the the big touch screen here. bolt here one here here and here a total of four of them and apparently they're nine thirty seconds pull this sucker out there we go Okay, it's not a CD player. These things don't. Oh, yeah, it is. So, okay, disconnect everything but the radio. Okay, I got one because I'm gonna open up this board anyway. And I should be able to just push up on rusty cobalt pliers. Never buy these, they're too rusty. I'm gonna try to get these out of here. I'm gonna have to WD 40 that. Got some WD. Let's try that out. Let's sit for a second. All right, there we go. WD 40 solved it. We got the box out, LG module. Nothing special, not encrypted yet. GM 2020 vehicles are gonna be fully encrypted. Probably not gonna buy anything newer than 2016, just to be safe. And I, I like new vehicles now, but where things are going, not too good, not where I want. Plug these white connectors back in and see what these antennas do here. Look, don't have phone service. Phone signal is disabled, OnStar is disabled. I'm gonna see what kind of radio You're signal we got. To do for $1, Definitely do have radio signal. Let's see if we got XM. Check XM and I'm assuming this is radio. Oh yeah, we just lost signal completely. This black one is FM radio and I'm assuming AM as well. There, we got it back. Now I'm gonna go to satellite. Check XM antenna. Assuming it's this one right here. Get that back. Yep. All right. Sports. I only say what I believe. That's XM. This is FM AM. And this is OnStar slash phone call slash OnStar navigation. Thanks a lot for the help. Get this box rolling out of here again. I bought this for hacking Xbox. Magnetic, which is awesome. Now let's see if we can open that up. I got the last screw out. I'm going to pull this lid off. Discharge yourself on any kind of piece of metal and not second board down in there and that is your OnStar board connects to antenna right here. I'm gonna pull this top board out and then we're gonna get to that second one down there. Even smaller torque screws to be able to get out. I think there's a total of three. Got that top board out. out of the way. I'm gonna put that up here. Really small torques there. Maybe it's the same size. Same size torques. Board right here. You can just pull that out and that is your OnStar chip. Put this somewhere. Now you want to put this board back in and you can either keep that little chip on there or you can take that thing out as well. Probably gonna take it out and then you can put the cover back on. We're basically good to go from here. Do not have the this antenna here because I took the board out. Plug this back in and see if we can still retain satellite radio and FM radio. Plug these back in. Got that back in place. Let's put the key in. Cross our fingers on that one. Yes. We got satellite AM radio. Well, just AM. We got FM as well. Perfect. Yep, no more OnStar. OnStar does not work at all. That's what I'm looking for. Hello, and welcome to OnStar. Your OnStar account is currently inactive. Please push the blue OnStar button again to activate your account. Like Learn good. more about OnStar services or connect to OnStar. Please try again. Your OnStar call has ended.
Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't connect to OnStar. Always wanted to get that thing disconnected in this truck. And of course we did it in that truck as well. They're data logging all your stuff. Where you go, your oil change, how fast you drive. I also listen to your microphones. Like to have my own privacy. The difference between just having no OnStar service and OnStar is still enabled and working and sending signals. <laughs> Yeah, three fuse boxes on this truck. That is crazy, man. The amount of computers they put in these. But, I mean, this truck is not even a maxed out package, so I can't even imagine how many fuses the High Country has or something. Over here on the blue truck, yeah, I remember this panel. Big changes. This out right here, check it out. Just pulled the panel a little bit. They actually made this a lot thicker, and this plastic is a lot more durable than what they gave you on, say, 07 and a half to 13 body style. In the fuse panel here, I'm gonna pull this 10. I think this has to do with OnStar, cable track, and airbags, and all that ton of stuff. See if I can turn the key and see what happens. But no power to the OnStar. That's a good thing. Take one of these 10 amps. Over here in the fuse box, I put a small 10 instead of a triple 10. There's three on there. And I swear they probably put the same power to airbag, cable track, as they do OnStar. So you want to just pull the fuse. Well, if you put a double one in, you can put power to stable track airbags and cut power to OnStar. You want to put it on the top and middle. If you put it on middle and bottom, then it will just power OnStar and then stable track airbags, no power to them at all. It'll say service both. Should have micro fuses. So yeah, you want to make sure you get it in top and middle. No power to OnStar at all. I turned the key, there was nothing. We're also getting no errors on the screen at all. No errors at all. 